shoes have always been a cornerstone of my wardrobe, especially when it comes to fall and winter fashion. I absolutely love styling and trying on and creating outfits and looks with different styles of shoes. So today's video is going to be all about kind of the fall shoe trends, but really these are shoes that transcend trends. They are ones that might seem trendy right now, but in reality are classics and have been around for decades. But in today's video, I really wanted to give you some inspiration and some ideas if you get stuck in a bit of a shoe rut for the season upcoming. Just give you some inspiration and ideas on how to style and try different pairs of shoes that can really elevate and accent the beautiful outfits that you create. The first style of shoe that I want to talk about as we're going into fall and winter 2024 is a Mary Jane ballet flat. Now we have seen iterations of these all through this entire year, spring and summer, but they're not going anywhere for fall and winter. So the style of this shoe is really, really beautiful. It's like a very feminine ballet silhouette of a shoe, but with just a strap or a double strap that goes across the top of your foot. From my own experience, these types of shoes are extremely comfortable, they're versatile, and they can really be worn in unique ways to play up the femininity of maybe a not so feminine outfit. There can be a lot of contrast that can go along with a pair of ballet flats, specifically Mary Jane ballet flats. So the pair I wanted to feature today was actually very kindly gifted to me by the brand C. Paravano. And these are a gorgeous classic silhouette of a Mary Jane ballet flat. They're in this gorgeous kind of slightly warmer white color. They're vegan leather on the outside and they have the most comfortable footbed and interior. They're made on the inside with a lamb skin and then also have this gorgeous luxe memory foam padding on the inside. And they are just, like I said, truly so versatile of a shoe. You can of course kind of play up that very feminine details by pairing them with skirts and dresses and things like that, which I absolutely love to do and I think looks so beautiful. But how I've been styling them the most in this kind of late summer, early fall arena is pairing them with more so a pair of baggy denim and then more of a fitted top. I think as we kind of get into a little bit cooler mornings and evenings, adding a trench on top and then a very feminine styled bag would be absolutely gorgeous. But ultimately these shoes are such a classic. It is so easy to look at them and kind of know how to pair them. So you absolutely can do no wrong by adding them into your wardrobe for the fall and winter. This particular brand carries so many beautiful styles of ballet flats and Mary Jane style shoes, even heels. This pair is so incredibly comfortable that I'm actually going to be taking them on a European trip that I'm going on fairly soon. So look for them in my upcoming outfit videos. But if you want to get your hands on a pair, I will leave them linked down below in the description box as normal. Next up is maybe a bit of a controversial shoe at the moment, but they are honestly no less of a classic than a ballet flat. And that is going to be a pair of loafers. Now loafers come in so many different styles and shapes and silhouettes. And I actually have a couple now that I have had in my wardrobe, not super long, but long enough to start to get comfortable with knowing how to style them. It's still a work in progress, but some of my absolute favorite, especially when it comes to black loafer inspiration, I've honestly been able to pull from Pinterest and be able to put together outfits based on some of that inspiration. So 
as you're watching through videos like this or you're even just looking at your wardrobe wondering how in the world am i going to take a pair of black chunky very masculine loafers integrate them into maybe a very feminine wardrobe or just a very classic wardrobe don't forget to go on to pinterest because they there's so much style inspiration on there as long as you do a bit of intentional digging I will leave my Pinterest account link down below. I have tons of fall fashion inspiration, but some of these pictures I'm going to pop up on the screen are some of my absolute favorite ways to style a chunky or even a classic black loafer for the fall and winter time. I have a pair of like kind of a softer tan fawn color that I wear in spring and summer, but as we're transitioning into fall and winter, I think that a pair of black loafers are so good. Get yourself a pair of really, really beautiful, maybe cashmere or cashmere silk blend trouser sock add with maybe a slightly slimmer jean than you might be used to wearing in kind of the last year and a half or so but i know you have them in your wardrobe because i kept all of mine and i'm very glad i did because they are coming back and use kind of your sweaters your jackets your layering up top to really create that depth it will create a really cool kind of that scandy style copenhagen vibes look that we all want to try and emulate and if you're just interested in kind of playing around with this style this exact pair of loafers i was able to snag off of amazon for about 40 dollars um, they're not necessarily something that you have to, especially if it's more of a trend that you don't know if you're really going to be able to style well or really love or use often in your wardrobe. Get yourself a pair of very inexpensive ones, play around with it, see if you like them, see if you can feel like you can make them work for your style. But I will say a style tip is that no matter what kind of the trend of the season, there is always a way to make it personalized for you. So even if you're not sure if you're able to add a black chunky loafer into what you normally wear, play around with all the different items that you already have and love in your wardrobe. And I guarantee you that there's a way to add into your wardrobe if you really, really want it to, something that's more on trend with all those classic pieces that you know and love. Next up, I'm going to be talking about a little bit broader of a category because although I wanted to talk about these individually, I don't think that there's enough time, nor do you probably want to watch a 40 minute video. So I'm going to call this category mules and clogs because ultimately they are about the same style of shoe, just with different kind of iterations of it. So a clog is something like a Birkenstock. It is going to be a fully slide on, very easy to wear, much more casual. Whereas a mule, while it is still a slip on or slide on shoe, typically takes on a little bit more of a dressy vibe, whether you can, you can have loafers that are kind of mule style that are slip on or slide on, you can have heels, etc. So I wanted to kind of create this whole one category because I have three specific shoes that I wanted to run through that I absolutely love. First of all, my Birkenstocks. I now have two pairs of the Boston clogs. I love them. I wear them all the time. I cannot imagine now my life without them. Birkenstocks are again a bit of that controversial style, but I truly think that you can wear them with anything from skirts and dresses to jeans to shorts, etc. I love pairing them with socks. I love just wearing them on their own. They're so versatile and I recently kind of upgraded my Birkenstocks and I got the Stad Birkenstock collab, which I think are so classy. They have this beautiful braided detail across the front of them. They're lighter weight than just the typical Birkenstock classic Bostons, but they feel exactly like a Birkenstock. And I think that if you're looking for a non-tennis shoe uh, or like maybe a fall version of like if you're wearing slides a lot in the summer or flip-flops or something like that, Birkenstocks are going to be your best friend. I've never had any issues with them hurting my feet and I get blisters by looking at a pair of uncomfy shoes. 
kind of the dressier side of this whole slip-on shoe style experience is the mules and i have two different pairs like i said one is from nisolo and these are a classic i love them they're so dressy they're so comfortable they're so easy to style they do have a very specific look to them which just like this pair of vintage gucci mules heeled mules that i got they're a very specific style so I'm not necessarily going to wear the no solo ones interchangeably with these Gucci ones. However, I think that you can really kind of make each of these styles your own. You could add the Gucci loafers to a pair of baggy jeans and a nice top, again with a trench coat, and you have yourself a lovely outfit. You could put the Nisolo mules with maybe a skirt and a barber jacket. And again, you have yourself a really, really cool outfit that maybe takes on a bit of a different form than you would normally be comfortable with wearing, but it still very much fits within a personal style. So there is a place for all of these different types of shoes in a wardrobe. Again, I think it is such a wonderful thing to have a very comprehensive shoe wardrobe. I feel like on when we're talking about maybe like capsule wardrobes or a paired back wardrobe, it's a lovely idea to have one or two pairs of shoes, especially if they're very high quality, well fitting, etc but there's a lot of fun and play and creativity that comes with having many many multiple pairs of shoes even in the same style because they're all going to achieve different looks and different styles and different feels that can create totally different outfits even with the same pieces of clothing and then the final category of shoes that i want to talk about for fall and winter I would be remiss if I did not talk about them, and that is all of the different styles and iterations of boots. I am a big boot girly. I love having boots in my wardrobe. And in recent years, the style of boots that I love the most, which are the riding boots, equestrian style boots, weren't a on-trend thing whatsoever. So unfortunately, when my last pair of flat kind of brown leather riding boots bit the dust, I was not able to find another pair that I liked enough to add into my wardrobe. So I am currently equestrian style bootless at the moment, which has, I don't think, happened to me since maybe I was a young teenager. So that is something that is gonna be hopefully remedied some point this fall and winter but in the meantime i have lots of pairs of ankle boots that i absolutely love and love wearing so kind of the standout pair for me still is the everlane glove boot i absolutely love these because these can go from casual to dressy very very quickly they are very easy to style. They absolutely are such a wonderful thing to have in my wardrobe. I can easily walk in them long distances if I need to. So if I have a dressier outfit that I'm wearing them with, I don't have to worry about my feet getting killed on a pavement or anything like that if I'm needing to walk in a city environment to dinner but then you can also pair them with jeans and they just add a little bit of a classic classy touch and edge to them now i will say the like ribbed fabric style of boots are a bit kind of almost going out of trend so if i were you i would invest in the same style of boot but maybe one that is a beautiful kind of rich brown leather that you will be able to again kind of take now all the way through early spring and then wear for years to come this will be such a classic style of boot that you will absolutely be able to style so many different ways but again if you're looking at more of that kind of equestrian style maybe a flat or heeled riding boot let's call them they're going to be huge this year so if you love them and you need to replace them they will just be more easily accessible for you to buy which is such a good thing so like i said there's a few i have my eye on that i'll probably be doing a bit of a boot try on haul sometime later in the fall so 
stay tuned for that. But in the meantime, look for a very classic low heeled ankle style boot because they will also be able to take you in so many different style directions as we go into fall and also winter time this year. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope that as you're looking at your own shoe choices for fall and winter, that this maybe gave you some creative inspiration to be able to maybe style a pair of those loafers that you didn't think that you would love before or buy a new pair of shoes that you've been eyeing up for a while now but just didn't have maybe the courage to go ahead and buy. But fall and winter is a wonderful time to really kind of take those plunges and see how creative you can get with your shoe choices. All of the shoe items will be linked in the description below. Thank you so much again to the C. Paravano team for sending me this beautiful pair of flats to talk about and style. I highly recommend them. They are comfortable, they are beautiful, and they are so versatile. Again, thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.